please. You have to stop it. We're not stopping anything, Shaw. We're going home. Yannick, if you don't stop it, it won't be your home to go back to. Now, this is a movie that obviously has these huge sets, alien planets, all of that. When did you realize the sort of scope of the movie that you guys were working on? I think we all kind of knew from the outset that it was going to be fairly, fairly monstrous. Yeah, um, we just... saw a lot of sketches before we actually even walked onto the sets. Ridley made it fairly clear from the outset that he, you know, that he wanted to build the set. So I think he's always been that way, hasn't he, really? Mm -hmm. you know? We all know about him as a director of sort of spectacle and a technical director. How is he with actors? He's fantastic. He's fantastic because he's got such great knowledge of what it is that he's doing. And, and he's also very open in, in regard to what you will bring as, as an actor. So he's, he's certainly wanting that discussion. There's a lot of people involved in making a film like this, no doubt. And, and everybody has to kind of bring their game. But when it came down to us actually working on the scenes, um, Ridley is very uh, gracious in the sense that he gave us the sets kind of work things out and move around and and um, and then it felt really intimate mm. really intimate I think if you're on a big movie and it, and it you you feel at a distance from your director you know I've been on films before where the directors are up cherry pickers yelling things out at you through megaphones um, which is always a little embarrassing but Ridley makes it feel very intimate well both of your characters are very sort of they're murky characters and even at the end we still have a lot of questions about them when you're playing characters like that do you play into the ambiguity or do you guys have to know things that maybe the audience is never gonna know I don't have to know everything I think questioning everything is really good and I I threw a lot of loose questions at Ridley about this character and where she comes from and and, uh, you know, for me, I felt like a lot of the gray zone, a lot of the kind of um, ambiguous stuff with her was fed into her relationship with David, the android played by Michael Fassbender. And the fact that the company that she works for made him, he's got, it seems like human attributes. It, 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 it's for some, sometimes it looks like he can feel. And is that because my DNA was maybe implanted into him? or am I an android? I mean, all of these things, why do we look so much alike? Why do we walk very similar? All of that stuff were all things that we kind of threw out there, but never answered. I never walked away from the movie having anybody, including Michael or Ridley say, here's what I think it is. I feel like I only need to know what I need to know. If, if, if there's a lot about the character that we're, we're not gonna see, or you know, isn't really gonna play into the story, you know, I, I'll delve into that stuff just to make sure I'm on the right page. I don't want to sort of suddenly discover that I'm actually meant to be a woman um, and go, oh. That's happened quite why, a bit. It has happened a bit. <laughs> Why didn't I find that out at the beginning of the shoot? <laughs>